Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at another phone that's been out a little bit longer. It's the Palm Pre 2. Now, it's been out a few months now, and let me show you the box next to the Palm Pre Plus. There's not a whole lot of difference in the boxes. As you can see, uh, they both are pretty similar, and they've just changed the packaging slightly. The phones supposedly look really similar, or they really do. So let's go ahead and open the box. Now, this was reviewed, I think, by someone else before, so let's go ahead and take a look. Here's the phone itself. Now, physically it looks just like the Palm Pre Plus, uh, with the exception of the screen isn't rounded. It's more flat and, and recessed a little bit more now. But let's set that aside, take a look inside. Uh, I'm not going to take everything out here, but we have our headphones, AC wall adapter to USB, and our micro USB cable. There's some uh, paperwork underneath as well. So let's go ahead and package that up and take a look at the phone itself. Now the Palm Pre 2 is kind of HP slash Palm's uh, attempt to, to keep the phone going while they work on the Palm Pre 3 and the Veer and those things to get WebOS going again since HP has acquired them. Now let's take a look at what makes it different. The Palm Pre Plus, which I have right here, they look very similar with the exception of this rounded screen. The screen is, on this one, it's recessed, and you kind of have like this little lip here that's rubber. On the Pre Plus, you have also the earpiece speaker that sticks out here. You just have a slit like most normal phones nowadays. I think what they did after looking at this is keep the bottom. They look very similar. Replace some of the hardware, and then change the top. Because if you take a look at this, they got rid of this little flimsy plastic piece that was on the Pre Plus and the Pre and replaced it with just a hole that you plug in your micro USB adapter like every Android phone out there or any other phone just to make less pieces to break and they had some warranty issues but you can see they look very similar and I'm pretty sure what they did was just replace the top. The bottom looked identical. Let's set the Pre Plus aside. Now what makes this one a little bit different is a newer version of WebOS, a more recent version. We also have a faster processor with a TI OMAP 1 GHz processor and 512 megabytes of RAM. And it's low on battery, so we'll have to charge that before we show you that. But the phone itself, I've always really liked the Pre for some reason. Even though it's a little bit small, the hardware is a little quirky. It's had its, its issues, but WebOS is just so nice and so different than anything else out there that I think it's a, you know, I like to see the underdog kind of catch up. And now that HP has a hold of them, you know, maybe, maybe you'll see more of these phones out. It's hard to say uh, when we see the Palm Pre 3 release and the new tablet they're coming out with. Uh, hopefully they can maybe grab a hold a little bit because it is really a nice operating system for anyone that's used it. The phone itself, the hardware is a little quirky. It's nice. They've upgraded the camera to a 5 megapixel camera with a flash here as opposed to a 3 in the other one. But overall, it's pretty much the same thing. So again, I'll go ahead and charge this and then we'll take some further looks and comparisons with the Pre Plus. But I can tell you just from the little I've used this, it's much faster and it's really what the original Pre should have been. So if you have any questions or you have any comments or you have one of these and you love it and, and uh, have any thoughts on it or something that a lot of people miss that you might want to see, uh, please comment below. I always like to hear from you. Again, thanks for subscribing, all who have. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.